So we're looking at a valve stem from a uh, Chevy, and this is a six-cylinder engine. And we're going to show you an eight-cylinder engine that I know the history of. But real quickly, this is the uh, profile. As you can see, obviously that's the one radius. Let me turn. Let me turn the one angle. Let me turn it sideways for you. And get you guys. Look at the profile. You see the profile now. As I rotate it, you see it's pretty darn consistent for everyone hating on factory. I'm going to go ahead and put some lapping compound in this. I'm going to quickly wire brush it with an uh, with a drill, and then we'll take a look at wire brush. And while we're here, though, let's take a look at this guy. This one I can give you the history on. This is 50,000 miles on a Chevy uh, 5.7. And let's see if I can get rid of that reflection. 50,000 miles. It doesn't look that bad, does it? It's got good burn on it. As you can see, it cleaned up pretty well. Six cylinder looks pretty pretty more pronounced. And that's where all your seating's taking place. Bottom part of the valve. This is the uh yeah, it looks like all the seating's taking place in one place there. But I'm looking for a break between here and the outer surface where you would think it wasn't seating anymore. So this is what I'm doing now. So I get to look at it and determine if I see something of a different nature, of a path, if you will, a, a, a trail, an air trail, a burn trail, a carbon trail, anything as I do a 360 on this. And I'll show you the valve seat of this also on the, but right now, let me wire brush this because I've, I've done a 360 now. And Let's just, again, steel wire brush, be right back. So, so very interesting. All I did was put a wire brush on this. We're looking at the 2000, I mean the uh, six cylinder again. Thanks to Bernie on this one. Um, the 2000. I'm sorry, the six cylinder. I said the six cylinder. It looks like it got, it has a nice cleaning, but you can clearly see that that thing's pitted everywhere. And that surfaces, I couldn't tell you the path, the trail I was looking for. Obviously, you can find trails all the way up the side of that. So very interesting. As you can see, the, uh, the seat angle is pretty chewed up. Or pretty nasty. That's got a slight bit of wire brush on it. Let me roll around to no wire brush again. There's no wire brush. So we're obviously, now that we're looking at this, um, and now I have the knowledge of looking what we're looking at, these are obviously... high spots and the rest are low spots where the the path the trail is we are looking at the trail all the way up and out so that in theory would be our leaking so in theory that's where our leak is right across that valley and wow do we have a shelf there too as you can see on the on the uh, outside of the head the outside of the head right where it approaches the first seat angle so right where it approaches, right from here over. This, this, this angle here is of a radius. It's not just flat. This is a radius from here, from this very edge to the, uh, the seat diameter stopping here. It's a radius. It's not just a flat shape. As you can see, it's got another shelf, another height to it. Right there. So there's your compound angles, your multiple angles. And then right there appears to be another angle right here. Just a touch off. So there and there. Let's see if they marry or match the seats of the engine, of the head, of the cylinder head. And again, we'll take a look at this right here that looks like junk and let's see how closely it matches so 
everyone talks about a theory that uh, you can't dr use a drill because it will create a um, a scratch th around into the uh, seats. Well, depending on how hard each one is, yeah, that could create a new uh, a new. Uh, Wow, that's amazing. Isn't it pretty to look at, to see up close? Much better than guessing and using lapping compound. Um, let's show the cylinder head real quickly. So now we're looking at the valve seats of the cylinder head. So right there, you're looking at the exhaust port and the intake port side by side. Side by side. This would be the intake port uh, from here back to where I'm going with that direction. Exhaust port is to the left. So right there, that's the seat. That's the one you're getting your air gap on. The one right in the middle, the shiny part. That's the part that people lap. That's the part that gets the grind. That's the grinder. That's your surface. So you can clearly see that it's quite porous with the poorer side of the stem also, the two marrying up that you would have an issue. Um, that you could you could see that all those all those uh, cracks would add up to a lack of seal after I put a wire brush on it let's get it between now we're between both the exhaust port and now you're looking at the exhaust port that would be your uh, left side and to the right side is the viewing is your intake you can see how bad those seats are kind of looking but remember so right now you're looking at this the, the divided the uh, left and right we're looking at the seats of the exhaust port and the intake port. There is the valve head right here of the, of the intake port. And that's the surface of it. As I come over to it, as I go to the left, that's the edge right here. You're looking right at, literally you're looking at the edge of it where it seats. Um, where it seats right there. Let's see if I can spin it around. Right at the tip of this, where you see the darker line. I mean, I'm riding it down. So right here, as you're looking at the, right there is the valve stem. Um, sorry, the valve head, the intake. That's where it seats. That, that is the seat. As I go to the left, you're looking down the inside port of the walls. But let's look at the seat itself. Now we're looking at the seat itself. Obviously, you know what you're looking at is part of it's the seat width, this bevel. Now that's just been ground, I mean, uh, wire brushed. So let's use that as our as our indicator of what's going to happen if we put a lapping compound on it. And let's see how, let's see what that does, if, if anything at all. Does that improve that finish? Will that improve that finish? Don, what's your guess? Will that will that finish get better? With this lapping compound? Oh, just oh, on the board. I don't oh. know if we'll get that out. It's supposed to be diamond material. I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly the composition of this compound. Yeah. So that's what the compound looks like. It looks like that's supposed to be some diamonds in there or something. We're going to find out man made diamonds. So, look, what do you guys think? It looks like it's got rid of some pores that it's that this is on the valve and yes I did dilute it I tried both actually this is round two it looks like it's got rid of some pores and it's making a straight uh, a solid piece yeah. let's go ahead and uh keep I'm using a drill also I'm not using it. this is the seat part there we'll go at it again you can see it still has some micro micro pores on it. But she's closing up. And this is just me putting in there and drilling from the back side. I'm not worried about it messing up that seat. The heat I'm, the friction I'm heating creating at this low speed. Now look how tight those pores are. Take a look, Don. Those pores are beautiful. Those are nice tight pores, and that's going around in a circle. I like to see it become more polished than that, more machined. And maybe with another another round or two, we'll see it. Let's see if we can get there. Round two of it. 
Well, it looks pretty. It's getting more smooth. It's getting more smooth, but if that's the profile that we're looking at on this stem, then that would be also the profile that we're going to see on the cylinder head also. So it's still got a ways to go. But somebody just using a, a paste to check this might get a false reading that everything is okay. You can see the path right there. Let me see if I can. Sorry about the shaky. It's it's digital. It's a uh, microscope, right there with my hand, with mouse with the mouse. I'll bring it over to the mouse. In fact, you can see that that would be a, a path for air to uh, escape or lack of compression, if you will, right there. That trail. It goes from the top of the valve stem. I'm sorry, from the head. To the to the to the internal side of it, so it's a clear path. That would be a clear path. Right there, also. Yeah, something that would be yeah. That's that's the thing. That would be a clear path right there, as I rotate around. Clear path. So it's getting there. It's getting there, and you can see how long this is going to take. But you can see a microscope is the way to go as opposed to using uh, other, any other tool to check this. When you get that machined all even, then you know you're there. Now we're using the uh, grit, the, the, the grit material of the, of the lapping compound to do this. And our rubbing surfaces are the, the two mating surfaces. This, wow, that's going to take about 10 years, right? It's getting there. See the groove going across though? Now the groove is going across, but it's going parallel to the valve head. So it's not, it's not a track going perpendicular to it, as you see with, right there where the mouse is. That's a perpendicular track for airflow. The others are a cross lap, if you will. Now there, there are grooves being created. You see them? Those grooves will be created if you were trying to do it the other way also. You're still going a back and forth motion. Uh, the argument would be that you're not creating a full path all the way around. Well, get this down to level and then change your grid out. Change your grid out so you can get a finer track, a tighter tolerances. Let's go ahead and look at the engine. You see the seats are just about there. The seats are happy. The valve stem is the tougher one. Between these two products, the valve seat is an easy score. Literally an easy score, right? You're scoring it. But the valve stem, therein lies the work. Let me turn it down for con contrast. Okay, so there's your valve seat on this on the uh, the seats on the cylinder head right here, and you can see there is a track there. But remember, air would come across. So this track, yes, it's there, but it's still not going to stop. It's not it's not a leak. If the edge it it would have so going round and round doesn't is not an issue, unless the issue would be across here would be the leak because you have multiple layers of seating. If you can imagine that. All of its multiple layers of lines are of a. Uh, let's see if I can get it even tighter than this. Let me see. So now we're looking at the grain structure. I'm in there at a thousand magnification. And you see the grain structure, the direction it's going? It's not going across the valve, it's going around and around. So all of that grain structure will act as a seat. One has to pass the other. It's not, I don't see it as an issue. That's the grain structure. Again, that's going around the radius of the seats. And those will be your scoring and your lines. And look, how, look where we're at. They're not going the other direction. And it's a thousand magnification. I'm going to look at it about, right about there, somewhere about 60 magnification. So you see that what happened there was um, 
the uh, the grain structure, you see where it looks like now? It's still not there yet. Still got a lot of pass from to go from the outside of the seat to the uh, inside of the uh, port of the exhaust port. So you can get this more level, more more in plane than we're really talking here. I don't know. I don't know about this doing it for uh, grinding it this way. This could take some time. I'm going to end this project right now, and I'm going. To, I'm not going to end it. I'm going to just load this up and show you what I'm working on, and you'll get updates as I get to it.